All right, everybody, welcome to another video. We are doing something different today. We have been invited to a fishing tournament with some other local YouTube fishing channels. And we are going to be fishing against Backyard Boys TV, Right Angle Fishing, Wild About Utah, and Utah Fishing Channel. Now, the tournament rules are whoever catches the biggest fish, for example, like a rainbow trout, whoever catches the largest rainbow trout uh, gets a point. The fish have to be at least four inches or bigger. So what we're gonna do is we'll put them on the spunk board, take a picture, and then through the fish donkey app, it'll get scored against the other competitors. Any fish counts. Um, this is a multi-species, so as many fish as you, different species that you can catch to get the highest score. The most fish that you have that are the biggest size is how you're going to win this tournament. So, sounds like a bunch of fun. Check it out and see how we do. Um, these other guys will also have a version, their version, this fishing tournament on their channel. So be sure to go check out their footage. He was ready, 100%. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah. Down to the depths. It wasn't locked in. We just lost our GoPro. Just fell off. Oh my gosh. Well, we ain't finding that. Not without freaking diving in. I don't see how that's going to happen. Yeah. <sighs> well, there goes. Well. There goes that GoPro. I guess we know how that works. That thing wasn't locked in. It wasn't yeah. locked in. So whatever just happened. Um, the GoPro just fell off. Man. So whatever just happened fell off, went right in the lake. So lost my first GoPro to the depths. Gosh. Oh man, that's sickening. Yes. Oh my. Oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, there's nothing we can do other than, other than get fishing. Oh, brother. Bro, I'm so used to fly fishing. I just did this. I just did this, Dad. Okay, let's see if we Pulled can get some line out and went. Uh, let's get going again. Let's. Oh yeah. We have 30 hours to complete this challenge. It starts at 3 p.m. and ends at 8 p.m. the next day. The boating rules are. You can use a boat as long as it's motorless. That's why you see us in a canoe. This is all gonna be on public water with public rules for that water. Two men per team, and I'm gonna be fishing with Kel. Enter your fish. Okay, hand him over here real quick. Put it in your zipper pocket after you're done. Wait, touch him to the board. Okay, you got your picture there. There are 12 points. trolling that you, you haven't even got trolling that yet yeah because you're catching all those fish and i have to record and do all that <laughs> okay, watch i'm gonna catch another one you got that yeah. thing recording yeah okay watch i'm gonna catch another one here oh what kind of a cast was that <laughs> Phone. 
way. Just turn off your phone. Quit worrying about that. Yeah, this thing's gonna be off, dude. I can't freaking put my phone away and reel it. Okay, he's still on. He's still on. Okay, you, you, got, you recording? Get a shot of him coming in. And this is fun. This is fun. Okay, finally, another fish. Okay, we gotta put on what I'm using, dude. You can start now. This working. I'm paddling. With this. Oh, he's little. No, he's bigger. Okay, you got him? Yeah. Here he comes. Nice. Oh yeah, that's way bigger than the last one. Okay, good. He's off. Okay, let's get that freaking hook out of there. Okay, bring him over here and let's put him on here. Put him on the board here. Not the phone. 16. Almost 17. Oh my gosh, 16 and a half? Yeah, 16. 16 and a half. Oh, I'm getting pretty used to this. Okay. Let's fish up. I think he's ready. Okay. There he goes. Nice fish. Oh my gosh, did they just stay here for a second? Yeah, he's... I get wore out a little bit. Gotta shake all the water off this. Okay, so far that's three fish, three rainbows. And um, nothing real huge, but that last one was 16 and a half. So that's a pretty decent one compared to the first two. Yep. So let's get going. Looking for a smallmouth or something along I'm gonna there. change out to dad's, what dad's using. But they hit, man, they're fun to catch. They hit really, they hit real so Okay. Biting on today. What do we got in the old khaki box today? Use this little. I got a rod in, and I'm trying to net your fish. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay, we got some fish on, everybody. You can keep paddling. That'll get your line. Oh, he's just a little guy. Uh, what is it? Little he? rainbow. So I don't think. I mean, I guess we'll we'll count him. Just boat flip him. Count him. He's smaller than the other one that I caught, though. So, okay. Uh. Oh. Easy does that. Killer. Okay, send him back. Where is he? Okay. Put him in the net. Put him in the net if you want me to. Got one. <laughs> Got one. Goes swimming on out of there on his own. There he goes. Hey, there he goes. You might see him on the other side of the boat. Okay, Kill. Your turn. So our first stop yielded four. Rainbow trout yeah. and one lost GoPro. Yep. Um, had it on this neck mount and wasn't snapped in all the way and bumped it and flopped. Yep. Went right into the lake. So pretty bummed about that, but pretty bummed about that. But we got a pretty good start. Four rainbows. Um, one that was like 17 or what? What was it? 16 and a half or 17 and a half? Yeah, I think it was 16 and a half inches. So it was the biggest one, or 16, 16, and a half. 16 plus, but whatever. Yeah, so we're going to head off to a new, new location. We'll let you know when we get there. Yeah, we made it to our next location here. We're, we're casting out for some catfish. 
Maybe you can get us a, uh, you know, we can get us a channel cat or a bullhead, mud cat. We always call them mud cats, but I think they're bullhead catfish, so maybe we can get us one of those. What I'm gonna do here, Kel. See that thing's moving? I'm gonna reel down. Mm -hmm. Kel, I feel it. I think the fish is. Oh, he's taking it. Don't let him get you wrapped up in that bushes. Fish on. Okay, we got one. Okay, we get it. Gotta get that board. I'll run up, run up and grab that board. Oh, there it is. Bullhead. We need a little bully. Where is he? Right there. You know, Cause they got spiky things. Alright. Oh, dope. Okay, look how pretty he is. Look at him. Whoa. Isn't he pretty? Yeah. Oh man, them spikes. He's oh, there he goes. Well, Got away. Dang it. Okay, we'll have to get another one. Okay, take another one. Okay. Uh, Some big boy back. I think so. Okay, here it goes. Check. Right there. There it goes. Alrighty. white bass. He might not. Yeah, he's big enough. So, he's almost eight inches. So he's big enough. Okay, where's your phone? Oh, so he is eight inches. Where's your phone? He's eight and a quarter. So he's big enough. Eight you got and your quarter. phone? Yep.
grab on. Grab onto this handle. Or grab that side. Here, like this. See how I've got it? Okay, let's turn it around. Oh, come on, you gotta pick up, pick up, pick up. Okay, let's get our stuff. Let's get our rods. Yeah, it's chilly and I would wish I would have brought my jacket. I'd left it sitting on the dang railing at the house. Start grabbing gear. So we're up here at uh, this little body water here and this is there's quite a bit of multi-species fish in here we've got rainbow trout brown trout splake smallmouth bass there's perch in here and wiper is supposed to be in here along with tiger musky so this is a great place to fish a multi-species fishing tournament and it's a good place to try so let's see how we do okay I just had a bass on get that get your rod let's put a whopper plopper on it Yeah, I seen him. He was right there. It's pretty shallow. Long fish on. That did not take long at all. Ooh, I think it's a smallie. Oh, he's fighting good for a little guy, so it's got to be a smallie. Let's see what he is. Maybe he's a rainbow. Oh, he's a smallie. Here, let me boat flip him. Okay, you got him. Now let's keep them hooks out of that net. Okay, smallie. Okay, got one. Okay, let's fish around here some more. Let's see if we can catch another one. Take us over there by shore a little bit. Is he ready to go? Okay, there he went. Nice. All right, let's see if we can catch us another one over here. That was awesome. Species number four. Okay, paddle us over along the shoreline over there. Let's paddle down this this other side. Yeah. But that's what you got to do sometimes. Let's get kind of close to shore. That's where the smallies are. Got to kind of stay close to shore for them. There, get out. Okay, fish on. Well, still just biting my worm off. Got something, Cal? Oh no. Might have stole my worm that time. He pulled my bobber clean under. Uh, this could be a perch. 
There's a bite. Dang, missed him. I got too much worm on, and so they're just chomping off the tail. Not getting the hook. See that, see that? Got him that time. <laughs> oh man, that's a baby perch. Okay, he's not even big enough to, he's not even big enough, now he's bait. He's bait. There he goes. There he goes. That was a bait fish. Man, we could have kept him for. Could have kept him for a big old brown trout. Fish on. Fish on. Yeah, it feels better. If it's a perch, it'll beat that last one. Oh yeah, it is. It's a nice perch. Is it a smallie? Oh, it's a perch. Okay, we just... Here. Here, cast it out there. Cast it out there. Cast it right over to the shore. He's a 10 incher. All right, Kel's on. Came off. What? Came off. Came off. Oh, man. Okay, let's throw another little piece of night crawler on there. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a jig on. Okay, let's get a night crawler on there. Toss him back out. Okay, Kel's on. Nice fish. Looks like a perch. Yep. Okay, let's count him. He's bigger than that first one I got. He's not as big as the last one I got. Okay, send it back. Toss it back over there. You little bugger. Okay, might just have to let it kind of sit. Got one. Oh, it's under. Nailed one. Kills on again. Another perch. About the same as the last one. No. A little bigger. Okay, just hang on. Put my phone down. 
Okay, toss it back over there. Oh, 8.5. There he goes. I got a picture. I'm going to toss over there by the rock and see if there's a worm on here still. Kind of a chewed up looking worm. I can catch another smallie. Need a bigger smallmouth. I need a new piece of worm. Oh, must have had a little snag or something. Oh, that's a fish. Got him. Got him. Just another perk, probably. Kind of a little guy. Might be a smallie. Nope, perch. He's a little bigger. I don't know. We'll put him on the board and see if he... How's, how big was the one that I caught? The biggest one. Ten? Okay, well that wraps up our first stop for the day. We're going to head to another location, but we managed to get um, we managed to get our smallmouth bass. We would have liked to have got a bigger one, but man, it's just kind of slow here. And, and the other thing we knocked out was our perch. And we got a decent perch, like a 10 inch or so. Let's head on to the next location. This is fun stuff. Stay tuned, we'll be there soon. Okay, so we're at the second spot. Uh, we just got here. It's about one, one o'clock. Um, we're at the Weaver River right now. Second spot. Let's see how we do. Yeah, so we're gonna look for uh, Brown trout here, possibly maybe a white fish here. We're gonna do some fly fishing. So we're switching switching gears to fly fishing yep. for a little while. See if we can catch a couple of fish out of this river. Alright, see how we do. caught fish out of these next two holes. Of course, I caught fish out of this hole before, too. Dang, so just caught this nice little brown trout. Uh, sadly, we snapped Dad's, accidentally snapped on, Dad accidentally stepped on his rod and snapped it, so. But he's a nice fish. He's a counter. There he goes. All right, everybody, we've, uh, we caught us a brown trout. We went fly fishing and we was hoping to catch a white fish, but fishing was kind of slow here too on the river. But uh, maybe it was the time of day. We did have a few fish on. Kale had two on. We actually seen one. It jumped out of the water and flipped the fly out of his mouth. But uh, the 
but I, I finally cut, hooked into one, caught one right at the last minute. Um, the bummer deal about that is I caught a 10 and a half inch brown trout. And while I was getting him off, or, or while I was working him to the edge of the river, he popped off, but he popped off in some shallow water. And I had my net in my hand and I hurried and scooped him up. But in the meantime, I set my rod down and snapped, I stepped on my rod, snapped my fly rod, and what a bummer. But I think I can buy just the section that snapped. So now we're down a GoPro, not a big deal, okay? Not complaining, just explaining. But we're down a GoPro and I'm down my favorite fly rod. So but this challenge has been fun. This is gonna be a memory and a half for me and Kel. Kel's always gonna remember this from the tournament. Um, we've had a lot of fun. Okay, we're heading off to our next location. So we'll check back in with you when we get there. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. We're at Strawberry. We're trying to cut, cut the cutthroat. Yep, we're going to see if we can upgrade. Catch us a cutthroat and maybe upgrade a rainbow. And we'll see what happens. Let's go for it. Oh, he was eating huh? See him? That damn moss. Wait, he's still there. Where is he? He's out. He's got it. Fish on. Fish on. Look at this. Fish on. Bring him over. Bring him on over. You recording? Yeah. Right, that's a nice fish, man. He is long. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay guys, we got one hour left. We're up here. Look at this sunset. We got one hour left of this tournament. And look at that sunset. What a beautiful place to wrap this up. And what a beautiful place to wrap this up. So we've had quite a few fish chase up in here. We caught one, pretty nice one. Um, quite a few chase up and we've got quite a few bites, but we've only landed the one. So we still have an hour before this tournament's over. And when it's over, uh, yeah, we'll just head home when it's over. But we've got some more, we got some more minnows to use up. And man, they're chasing after these minnows. So and these frozen minnows we bought, but uh, that's all we've been trying, really. That was crazy. No way he came after it three times, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he he got hooked, got off, he put the thing back out there and he bit it again. So he gets a free anchovy. So, perfect, right? Hooked in the side of the mouth. He ain't he's not hurt. He's hooked right in the mouth, right in the side. I'm gonna go get the measuring tape thing. 
That was so cool. Next time, get that camera rolling. I keep forgetting about it. No, you can't. You can't forget about it. Yeah, Let's revive him here. Let's get this thing back out. I got 40 minutes left. Maybe a 20 inch or dude. They're in here. Got a crawdad. Still a little bit Bought of him on the hook up. while it was sitting there. Yeah. Alrighty. Let him go. Bye bye. Oh, huh, that's awesome. There he goes. Uh, oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. I want to try and get it. That's a little one. So here's the score. And we would like to mention some of our tournament sponsors Big Mountain Hunting Ranch, located in Alberta, Utah. They specialize in ram and turkey hunts. The website will be first linked in the description so you can check them out. And for our other sponsor, Hoffman's Lures, they donated a bunch of spinners for the tournament and they will be linked second in the description. So thanks for these, uh, thanks to these great sponsors and check them out. Okay, so we're going to wrap up our video while we have, still have some light here. But we're gonna fish till eight o'clock and that's when the tournament ends. But we just had a blast doing this and man, we'll probably be doing some more of these with the guys. Um, yep, I wanna thank everybody that was participated in this and, and everybody that uh, invited us. I wanna thank the people that invited us to join up. And uh, yep, we'll see you on the next one. Yep. And thanks for watching. Yep, make sure to like and subscribe and get your kids outdoors. See you on the next one.